Might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. The Film Lounge presents... Spoiler free! Make your beer! First you gotta do the trumpet shuffle. Come on! With Chris Gooch. I'm the dude. London in the 1960s. Everyone had a story about the craze. I come here for a proper shootout. What do you do with that rolling pit? It'll bake me a cake. Rich. You won't mind if I fight back, will ya? <laughs> okay, so what's better than Tom Hardy in a movie? Two Tom Hardys in the same movie. That's the answer. Two Tom Hardys. The strongest selling point about the new gangster movie Legend is easily Tom Hardy's dual performance. Unfortunately though, this might be the only selling point. Do you like being a gangster? I like the money and the respect. Based on the true story of the infamous London gangsters known as the Cray Twins, we see Tom Hardy flexing his acting muscles as both Reggie and Ron Cray as they built their criminal empire during the 1960s. Using many of the techniques that we've seen in the social network to make Army Hammer appear as the Winklevoss twins, we have Tom Hardy go that one step better by shaping two very different twin brothers. We have Hardy playing the charming and stylish Reggie Cray, who can easily break some hearts and break some heads. Yeah, we can handle it. But then we also have him play Ronald Cray, a physically and mentally twisted man who will really get under your skin. A shootout, right? It's a shootout! Like a western. <laughs> the film also stars Emily Browning as Reggie's long suffering partner, along with some other great English stalwarts such as David Thewells, Christopher Ellickson, and Paul Bettany, just to name a few. One of the surprising pieces of casting is Kingsman's Taron Edgerton, who plays one of Ron's gay lovers slash heavy hitters. I almost didn't realise it was the same actor. But all other actors aside, it really is Hardy that everyone is going to be talking about. Much like the fantastic series Orphan Black, Hardy has created two very distinct individuals within these roles. He has tweaked each character to appear as if they're completely different people. From the tone of voice to the delivery of lines, how they walk, how they stand, facial tics, stares, gestures, all really shape these two equally volatile people. Reggie is tall, handsome, and could easily make you go all gay for Tom Hardy. But then there's Ron, who's short, always flaring his bottom lip, looks like an angry, rabid pit bull, and seems to have no neck. And even though his character is gay, you do not want any of that, even though it's still Tom Hardy. That's how good he is in this film. Once we get past Hardy's performance, though, the film starts to feel a little hollow and empty. Sure, the film has some great things going for it with regards to a solid cast, great back and forth between characters, some cool swagger here and there, but then it just doesn't feel like any of this amounts to anything. There's no development of characters outside the Cray Twins, and despite all the jokes, the violence and the cockney banter, you feel that you've seen this story a thousand times before. Sure, it's actually based on a true story, but it just feels like every other gangster movie. It attempts a lot of the tropes and techniques used in other gangster films, which makes it just feel a little tired. And even though this might sound a little contradictory, the film could really have used some Guy Ritchie editing flair. There was a very sudden and dramatic shift in tone from the cool swagger to the incredibly dark. And that's normal and expected for a gangster film. The only issue I think with this film though is there had been no setup prior to establish that anything like this could have happened. Even today, we have members of the Cray family questioning whether that scene ever happened in real life in order to just shift the film in such a tonal way. Overall, the film has lots of fun elements and the performance of Hardy Squared is worth the cost of the ticket alone. But despite all the swagger and the cool the film tries to deliver, you're just not going to get anything new out of this retread of the gangster genre. Except for Hardy. That guy is the f***ing man. Legend gets 3 out of 5 stars. Or 3 out of 5 no-necked rabbit pit bulls with a cockney accent. Your brother, he's a loose cannon. We need you to do something about Ron. I can't do that. He's my brother.